Hunter Green. The Reds, Barry, they need some innings out of Hunter Green today. They have taxed their bullpen. They've worked nine innings over the first two games of this series. Leading things off, it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. A flare down the right field line, charging hard is Benson. He did get there for the out. Hitting second at first base, Anthony Rizzo. There it is. Got a piece of it, but Luke Manley got the rest of it. Little dribbler to Green. And a 1-2-3 first inning for Hunter Green. Luis Severino making his season debut will start for the Yankees. He has declared himself healthy and big league ready. So a two-time All-Star is back on the mound. He has started with three straight balls to India. And make it four, and he walks India. The youngster Matt McLean playing in just his fifth game in the major leagues here today. And he swings through a 2-2 changeup. For strikeout number one for Severino. So a walk and a strikeout to start brings up Spencer Steer. As this one sliced down the right field line. Long run for Jake Bowers nearing the line. And he's able. Oh, well, he couldn't hang on to it. It's a foul ball. He went sliding. The ball's loose. Oh, wait a minute. He did call that foul, but. Oh, my. He makes contact with that ball. Looks like in fair territory. Fair foul in the outfield is a reviewable play, and the four umpires will get together here. Cincinnati's challenging the fair foul call. As you said, he was running round in third. They might just give him the run there, especially since he was right close to home plate. Yeah, he, he did kind of, India did kind of slow up here around in third base. Pretty clearly a fair ball. And he had it for a moment, and then it popped out, couldn't complete the catch. After review, the call on the field is overturned. One run scores, the batter runner, second base. It's an RBI double for Spencer Steer and an upset Aaron Boone. Yeah, and I think what he's saying is the ball was dead. How are we supposed to figure out basically if the run scored once the umpire put his hands up? And Aaron Boone's just got tossed. That didn't take long. This is Aaron Boone's first trip back to Cincinnati. As the manager of the New York Yankees, the place he holds near and dear to his heart, and his day is over early. The mistake that was made on the play was by the umpire. That's right. And he's feeling that his team's being penalized for the umpire making a mistake. Harrison Bader next up. First two pitches, opponents hitting 553 off Hunter Green. The rest of the at bat, 222. Grounded to third. And it turns into a double play. 5-4-3, and there's two away. So that'll bring up Jake Bowers, wired from Cincinnati last June. Wow. That's Bowers. Got, him. Got him with the fastball. The side is retired. Hunter Green faces the minimum for a second straight inning to start his afternoon. one nothing Reds on the bottom of the second. Runner at first. Close play over at first, but back is Fairchild. Rizzo with the snap tag. Oh. Ooh. Hold on a second. <laughs> New York's challenging the safe call at first base. Yeah, this that's one, quick right there. This one might be overturned as well. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner's out. Oh. New York keeps its challenge. Volpe's hitting 211 with seven homers and 18 RBIs. He's reached in 15 of his last 19. Got the call at the top of the zone. And Volpe down looking. Third strikeout through seven batters for Hunter Green. The Yankees trailing 1 0. Rizzo struck out his first stop. And now he swings and misses at a high fastball. Rizzo strikes out for the second time this afternoon. Now well, DJ LeMayhew. Strike three called, got him looking. Back to back strikeout to close out a 1 2 3 fourth for Green. Willie Calhoun to lead off the fifth inning in the cleanup spot for the Yankees against Hunter Green. That's the second walk issued by Hunter Green. No work from the stretch against Harrison Bader, righty hitter, hit into a double play his first time up. This one hit well to left, and it carries all the way out of here. A two-run home run for Harrison Bader, and on one swing, the Yankees go from down one to up one. Harrison Bader has been all smiles if you're a Yankee fan right now. Came up from injury as well. Brings an excitement to this team. Now Severino is working with a 2-1 Yankees lead over the Reds. Severino working quickly. Swing and a miss, strike three. 
99 with the four seamer and Severino strikes out his second straight batter here in the fifth. So two away and here's the Reds number nine hitter Luke Maley. This is lined in the right and it'll drop down for a hit in front of Jake Bowers. And it was his 75th pitch of the game for Severino. You know he wanted to get that last out, but that's going to be his last pitch. And they, they weren't kidding about this pitch count. Sevy's not happy about it, but you have to. And Glaber Torres will be the batter. Grounded out to first base back in the fourth, flew out to right field in the first to lead off the game. Torres hit one to right, turning and chasing his pence, and he runs out of room. All three runs today for the Yankees have come via the home run as Glaber Torres goes deep to right. Glaber didn't waste any time there. He said, you know what, I'm gearing up for one pitch, one pitch only, and that's the fastball. And that's what you haven't seen most of the time. Hunter's been throwing that all speed for strikes in the beginning, got a fastball that he can hit, and went opposite field. Greg Allen is going to run for Jake, uh, Jake Bowers, and this is what they got Allen for. He'll pinch run for people, and he's a flat out superb outfielder. There he goes. The throw down to second is not in time. A stolen base for Allen. And there's a ground ball down the third base line. A base hit and an RBI for Volpe, who's thinking too, and he'll have it easily. An RBI double for Anthony Volpe, and now a 4-1 lead for the Yankees. Juanny Peralta at his best. Predominantly change-up pitcher. From the left side, he'll throw that two-seamer. But when he's going well, he's getting those ground balls, and he's just moving along on the batters here. He's not going to overpower you. Luke Maley, I don't think he was ready for that. And David Bell pops out of the dugout and has a few words for Emil Jimenez, and that'll be the end of the day for David Bell. So neither manager will make it through this one. And I think what David is talking about is that it looked like it might have been a quick pitch. Wandy is also known for that too. Before the rule changes, he would get it and go. And I think he's upset because he's still waggling the bat in the box before he can get set. You got to catch eyes. Both of them have to catch eyes with each other, the hitter and the batter at the same time. And David Bell is getting his money's worth. Last of the ninth here in Cincinnati. And the Yankees are leading the Reds four to one. They're ahead by three, and they've summoned Clay Holmes out of the bullpen. So back-to-back -back singles, and the Reds are in business here in the ninth inning. And it'll be Nick Senzel strolling to the plate, representing the tying run. He got the corner. Up and into Senzel. Two gone. Benson hitting 198 at AAA Louisville this season, where he spent most of the year. Chopper back to Holmes. He'll run halfway. He'll toss it to Rizzo. And the Yankees sweep the series with the Reds. Despite some ninth inning drama from Cincinnati.